Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on and welcome back to another video. I didn't think ahead. I don't know if you can hear me at all, but I am down here. I'm down here at the Littleton Rugby Ground and it's time to finally make this video, to finally reflect on what has occurred over the last two weeks. A lot has occurred over the last two weeks, especially to do with me playing the sport that I, I grew up with, the sport that I love, the sport that I call myself a player of, and that is rugby. So, guys, as you saw in a previous video, I am a rugby player again. Uh, officially, I pulled on the strip in Division 2 Christchurch football, Christchurch rugby, I should say, uh, the Metro Division. There's 11 teams, Littleton is one of them. And uh, we're playing Division 2. So we played uh, the first game of the season last week. It was my debut for the seniors. Uh, the last time I played for Littleton was in 2003 for the under-13s. And uh, the first time that I played was 1996 as a five-year-old. I still remember, guys, I literally still remember probably one of the first memories I've, I've got, to be honest. Because around that four to five year old range, you know, you don't really have too many memories, but this one's definitely vivid. And uh, it must have been the time when I first, you know, had that feeling of, of grabbing a rugby ball and running with it. And uh, it was up on the grassy, the grassy area near the, uh, the pool, which has now been demolished because we've had earthquakes here in Christchurch. But anyway, it's up there. And uh, yeah, we, I think we must have had like a game of touch or just a few drills or something but I, I, I just remember that feeling of getting that ball in my hands and just sprinting you know because I at that point I was pretty determined you know to be the best and um, I, I enjoyed rugby already because you know Canterbury well basically 1996 was the first year that that rugby became professional so that was the first year of the the super rugby competition um, first year of the Canterbury Crusaders so that's you know another reason why I got into the sport of rugby so much and all these you know all the All Blacks around the mid 90s late 90s early 2000s were, were my absolute heroes and especially the ones that played for Canterbury so anyways guys um, we're here and uh, look I just want to tell you <laughs> as you can probably tell I loved it I absolutely loved it it went it went as well as possible um, as well as expected, as well as could be expected, because I wasn't expecting much. In fact, I wasn't even expecting to start. But throughout the week, it became clear that I, I was going to start. So not only was I going to get a debut cap, I was going to play in the first game of the season after having trained with the team for only a week, and I was going to have a start. So I played uh, right wing. I played number 14. And... Uh, I'm just trying to think. It's it's actually been it's Friday today, so it's been it's been six days. We play at this ground again tomorrow against Belfast for the second game of the season. At the same time, one o'clock. But I'm just holy shit, man. Oh no, I thought we were having earthquakes, but I'm, <laughs> I thought we were having earthquakes. I'm pretty sure it's the wind uh, pushing my car. So anyway, the Littleton Rugby Ground is pretty pretty fucking unique to be fair as in where it is it's basically right near the water I don't know if you can see down there but that is the ocean so we're you know Littleton is a port um, it's a town but it, it is the port of Christchurch and uh, so you know if anything does want to dock in the South Island they usually come to Littleton so this is where I'm you know this is where I'm born and bred I lived here till I was 19 until I moved to Australia and now that I'm back in Christchurch, I'm not actually living in Littleton, I'm living in Christchurch, although I would, I would love to live over here. Um, but anyways, regardless of that, look, the game, I think I touched the ball five times. For all those st statistics mad people out there, just like me, um, I was trying to actually, you know, calculate how many metres I had, how many line breaks, if I did have a line break, and I actually didn't have a line break. Um, but... I, I probably had I had the ball five times. I uh, look. There is one thing I, I do need to cover, and that is uh, 
<laughs> that is one particular moment. Well, actually, there's, there's, well, you know, I, I actually vividly remember every single touch I had. Um, you know, that's what I would always do back in the day after playing a game of rugby. I would go home and usually in the shower or in the bath, I would just replay exactly every single touch I did you know, play by play, and if I did something wrong, it would usually haunt me, and if I did something right, it would make me feel really, really great. And, um, you know, I didn't do anything wrong on the weekend, so all of my five touches of the ball I was happy with, and so that meant I had a really content and really happy and, and pleased feeling after the game. You know, if I had of yeah, it was my debut game back and it was very extremely special to me, but if I had have played like shit, you know, it would have really put a dampener on it. So, you know, I played all right, um, but I will tell you about the first run I had, my first touch of the ball, and this is a moment that I've literally, you know, dreamt about and thought about for years, a decade. I left Littleton a decade ago. I left the Littleton Rugby Club 17 years ago, and this is a moment I've literally fucking dreamt of. So when I'm watching the game of football, when I'm watching the game of rugby, rugby league especially, off of a kickoff, usually, you know, that, that first run, they'll, they'll give it to one of their big boys who's going to run up as fast as they can and just slam into the defence, right? It's the, first, it's the first hit up, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to set the tone. The defence are, are set, so you do want a big guy to, um, you know, at least move them. So, I love that. You know, seeing a, seeing, a, seeing a forward run up, seeing someone run to the line and hit it at pace, I love. Now usually what happens guys, and you'll find this, like watch a game of rugby, you'll find it. Even if they're huge, you know, this is common sense obviously, but before they get to the line, just before they get to the line, just before they get to the defensive line, they will put a little step on, or they'll swerve, or they'll slow down. Because, you know, it's not your usual play for the guy to run as hard as he can, sprinting 100% and literally not slow down one bit before hitting that line. Because that's dangerous, and it's scary, but it's fucking awesome to watch, and it's fucking impressive. And guess what, guys? For the last fucking 10 years, I've said to myself, right, if I get back on that Littleton rugby field, the first time I get the ball, if it's in a good position, and I've got a bit of, bit of space to wind up before hitting that line, I'm gonna do exactly that. I don't care how much I fucking weigh, I'm gonna run, you know, I consider myself kind of quick, right? I'm going to wind up to top speed and just fucking hit that line as hard as I can. This is my first carry. My first carry back in a Littleton, you know, blue and gold jumper for 17 years. And guess what, guys? I got a fucking... I got the ball on the burst and uh, I had about 20 metres to cover before hitting the line. And, um, yeah, guess what I did? Exactly that. And it felt... Amazing, bro. I'm never going to I'm never going to forget that. I am never going to forget that moment. I grabbed that ball on the burst. It was perfect. And I just slammed myself into the line as fucking hard as I could. Now, <laughs> coming out of that, um I had a bleeding nose. I had a corked thigh, which is still sore to this day. And uh, you know, I had a a rush of adrenaline, I'm going to say, and a roar of the crowd. So overall, it was uh, well worth it, and, and, and you know, <laughs> oh fuck, it was cool. It was so cool. And so, you know, that was the first touch back in the blue and gold, and then from there, um, we spun it, you know, it was shitty weather, it was pretty much the same weather we've got right now, which is rainy, it's pretty much guaranteed to be rainy tomorrow as well, so that means that, you know, out in the backs, uh, you don't get too much ball or too much clean ball, but I did get it a couple of times. I lost my footing basically both times and just offloaded it from the ground because I was isolated. And in the game of rugby, if you don't have people blowing over you, um, you, you want to do something with the ball before the opposition steals it. So I did a couple of quick offloads. So I did a couple of quick offloads off the ground. Um, the second one was actually decent. It came out nice and straight. It spun perfectly, and I thought, holy shit, man, that looked like Sonny Bill Williams. I might do that again. Anyways, guys, my last touch was probably my most exciting touch, um, and that was on the counter-attack. I was the only one sprinting back. I'd seen the kick coming. I started sprinting back. I got the ball with about 10 metres in front of me, 10 metres of space, and, um, you know, I... I 
I purposely did not rush. I did not rush one bit. You know, even if I, even if I lost five of those 10 meters of space, I was never going to rush that. So I literally like just, just watched the ball, picked it up, looked in front of me, didn't make any stupid decisions, waited for the defender to come to me, and I gave him a, a, a nice wee bang off the left. Now, um, as it was, you know, shitty weather, I lost my footing again, but I did beat him nice and cleanly. And, uh, you know, on a better day, I might have boosted off, but there was other, but there was more defenders, and um, they, they shut it down pretty quickly. So that was right at the end of the game. And we won. We got six tries to one, and we won the game 34 points to seven. Uh, we got two out of our six conversions, so that's five points for a try, six tries, that's 30 points, plus two out of four, uh, plus, sorry, plus two out of six conversion kicks, uh, which you take after each try, and uh, that those are worth two points each. So there you go, 34 points to seven. The other team got a try plus the conversion. It would have been awesome to keep them to zero, but it is what it is, and it was the first game of the season, and uh, well, here I sit. On Friday, uh, the day before my second game, the day before the second game of the season, and we've done another full week of training. And not only have I done another full week of rugby training, I've done another full week of gym training. So I am feeling the best physically and mentally I've felt in a fucking long time. And I'm so happy to report that to you guys. I am so fucking stoked. So, you know, hopefully, all goes well tomorrow. Like I said, you know, it, it, it means it means a hell of a lot to play for this team, but at the end of the day, I want to perform. And Division 2 is not, you know, no slouches. Division 2 is decent. Division 1 is the step below, you know, professional rugby. Right? So that's pretty fucking cool. You know, I'm back in the fray, I'm back in the mix, and I absolutely love it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for investing your time in my journey. And, uh, you know, I'm going to continue being an ambassador for the game of rugby for, for the rest of my life. And I'm also going to be an ambassador for the game of American football in this part of the world for the rest of my life too, because I absolutely love that as well. But I am a rugby player at heart. I'm playing rugby again, and we're playing back here at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And I can't fucking wait. So before I go, I did want to just show you the shorts and the logo. This is it. It looks a little different from back in the day when I used to play, but that is the Littleton Rugby Club logo. Those are my shorts, size large, and these are the socks. Now, I had a, I had a very, very surreal moment the other day when I was washing these socks after the game, right? They came out of the wash, I put them on the line, and then I grabbed them off the line when they were dry, and I, I, I tucked them up like this, right? And to see the blue and gold socks, you know, tucked up like this in my, in my hands, when I put them in my wardrobe, it was like, that seems like yesterday that that happened, you know? <laughs> oh shit, 17 years guys, and it seems like yesterday, so don't waste any time. <sighs> you wanna do something, do it now or you'll regret it for the rest of your fucking life. Peace.